Now, I want to take you to an issue that surfaced this morning. Two leading barristers are calling for the use of sodium pentothal, otherwise known as truth serum, to force murderers to reveal the location of bodies so that families of victims can get closure. Now, one of those barristers, Sharon Kermuth, joins us now. Sharon, thank you for joining me and welcome to the program. Tell us, why are you calling for the use of this drug? Thank you, Amanda, for having me on the program. I'm not, I'm actually, I looked into the drug and the drug is still, it's been in operation for many years, like from um, the spies and um, in India as well. Um, and this drug has, needs to be trialled, I believe. It's a discussion for the drug to be trialled in Australia to whether it's, whether it works effectively and whether there will be any risks to a person. Now, the trials need to be done. If the trials are correctly performed, then there should be discussions with um, our governments regarding, and our judicial system, regarding whether this will work um, to allow a person that's been before a judge and jury convicted beyond reasonable doubt, of course, of murder, whether that drug can be used um, to disclose where a body is located, Amanda. There are human rights implications here that are significant. On one hand, you've got a person convicted of doing among the worst things we can think of one human doing to another, and they've had the protections of the justice system in trying to make sure that's done um, according to law. And then on the other hand, you've got a proposal to forcibly inject a substance into a human being. It, That's intention. And so how do we manage the hurdles that might be a part of trying to bring something like this in? Well, firstly, the convicted person has enjoyed their rights of silence. Um, and when they've been found guilty, um, we have to look at the families of the deceased, the victims, who've lost their mm. loved ones and who have been traumatised as well. They've had significant years. They want to know where their loved ones are buried, to bury them and to move on, to move forward. This is called to restore justice for the victim. Victims are sometimes not noticed. Now, there's, look at in WA, the murders there, there's still one body still um, not discovered yet. The families would love to find out where their child is. Um, and this is why the victims are not heard, Amanda. And sometimes uh, offenders, murderers, would consent if they did. That shows significant remorse of what they have done. And sometimes that will help them as well. But I understand that there is... Um, the element of human rights, um, like there is in America under their constitution. Um, however, there's another argument that victims will say that aren't the rights diminished after someone has committed brutal, an offence of brutal murder? Um, this is the... Well, I think, they, I think there's discuss. something in that. Um, we're, we're out of time, Sharon, I'm sorry to say, but it seems to me that if a person's had all the benefits right. of... Um, the protections of our justice system, they've been found to have done the very worst things. Well, then I think it's time for the victims and their families to get some of their rights. I think it needs to be a discussion, Amanda. Sha it needs to be a discussion about this. Sharon, oh, Sharon Kermuth, I'm so sorry. We're out of time. Um, but I really appreciate your expertise tonight.